to learn it's another type of word problem uh, that involve uh, mixtures. So um, it may appear at first that you want a calculator for some of these, but um, you're going to be fine. All right, so number one says, imagine if you have six gallons of fruit punch. Uh, it's 25% soda and 75% juice. Uh, if you want it to contain only 60% juice, how much soda would you have to add? So let's back it up. I want to read it again. You have six gallons of fruit punch. Currently, it's 25% soda and 75% juice. So let's figure out of the six gallon mix, so right, current mixture, how many gallons of soda is in the current mixture? If it's 25% soda, how would you figure that out? Uh, yes, Sam. Six divided by four. Six divided by four or, 20 or point two five times six. So what happens when you, what do we get when we do that? Go ahead, you can do a little side math. Patrick? Wouldn't it be one and a half? It would be one and a half, nice. So in the current mixture, you have one and a half gallons of soda, okay? So what we're gonna do is we know we're gonna have to add soda to the mixture because we want it to increase. It, it says we want it to, came, to contain 60% juice. So right now it's 25, it's 75% it's, uh, juice and 25% soda. If we want it to be 60% juice, what percent of soda do we want it to be? Uh, Mia? We want it to be 40%. So if we're going from 25% soda to 40% soda, what are we going to have to add to the mixture? Soda. And it even says that. How much soda do you have to add? So let x equal gallons of soda to add. Now when, when we write our equation, we want it to fulfill this uh, statement in words. We want soda in gallons to be 40% or 0.4 of the total mix. So right now we have one and a half gallons of soda, okay? So in our soda in gallons, we know we have 1.5, but we're going to add to that some soda. So our total soda in our mixture is going to be one and a half gallons that we already have plus X, the, no the unknown gallons that we have to add. That's going to be 0.4 of our total mix. Now. Of our total mix, what's the total gallons of our mixture currently? Six gallons. Six gallons. It says that right here. So right now it's six gallons, but aren't we going to add to it? Yeah. So we have to have the plus X over here as well. The total mix is going to be the six gallons that we already had plus however many gallons of soda we're going to add. Okay? So the soda has to be 40% of the total mix. Now we have our equation. We just have to solve it. So go ahead and distribute the point 0.4. And what's point 0.4 times 6? Mia? Yeah? 1.5, no. 0.4 times 6. Uh, Grace? 2.4. Good. Plus point 0.4x. Uh, go ahead and gather your variables. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to start writing up here. Um, I'm going to subtract 0.4x on both sides. That will give me 1.5 plus, there's an invisible 1 here, right? So 1 minus 0.4 is point how much? 0.6x equal to 2.4. Now subtract the 1 and a half. 0.6x equals how much? 0.9. Now, if the fractions bother us, we can change this to 6 tenths. And we can change this to 9 tenths, right? Now multiply each side by 10 over 6. 
tens go away. 9 over 6 reduces to 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, or 1.5 gallons. How much soda do we have to add? We need to write that out in our sentence. I'm totally out of room here. Uh, we have to add one and a half gallons of soda. So now, when we're doing these problems, they're all a little different. So, um, but the strategy that um, I will tell you is that you should start with figuring out uh, what's in the current mixture and then figuring out what you have to add to achieve the percentage that you want. But they're all a bit different. <coughs> Let's go on to the next one. This time we're dealing with a restaurant that has some pancake batter that's too thin. Right now uh, it, has, it weighs 12 kilograms and contains 85% flour. And it wants to know how many kilograms of flour that we need to add so that the final mixture is 90% flour. So I want you to first figure out the current mix. All right. How many kilograms of flour? It's right now 85% flour. So what are we going to do to figure out uh, the, how many kilograms is in the current mix? Yes, Lauren? Um, 0.85 times 12. Good. So we need to go 0.85 times 12, which you can do on the side of your paper. Point eight five times twelve. Who has it? Yes. Ten point two. Perfect. Thank you. Ten point two kilograms of flour. All right. We need to add flour because we want to increase the mixture to ninety percent flour. So once again, we're going to let x equal kilograms of flour to add. Now, just like before, I'm going to write it out in words first, okay? We want our kilograms of flour to be 0.9 of the total mix. How many kilograms of flour do we already have? 12. No, that's the total mix. We have 10.2. That's why we wrote that out above. We already have 10.2 kilograms of flour, but we're going to add some to it. So we need to add our x here. We want that to be 0.9 total mix. How much does our current total mix weigh? Yes? 12. 12, but we're going to add some flour, so eventually our total mix will weigh 12 plus x. That's our equation. Now we just need to solve it. Keep this side the same for a moment. Distribute your 0 0.9. 0 0.9 times 12. Go ahead and do it on the side if you need to. Yes? Uh, would it be, would it be 9? Uh, no, it would be... Think 9 times 12 and move the decimal over once. Oh. Um, 9 times 12 is... 10.8. There you go. 10.8. See, we don't need calculators. Plus 0.9x. All right, now I'm going to subtract 0.9x from each side. That goes, we have 10.8 over here. There was an invisible 1 there. 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0.1. Subtract the 10.2 from each side. Now I have 0.1x is how much? 0.6. If the decimals bother you, you can write this as 1 tenth x equals 6 tenths. Multiply by 10 over 1. You can see that the 10s go away, and x is 6. Okay? I always show the fraction wave because I, I always have kids that are bothered by the fractions. Now, if you're going to do it, another way you could do it is that if you're going to say x is 0 0.6 over 0 0.1, move the decimals over once, it'll still 6 that way. So x equals 6 means we're going to add 6, gal uh, six ga kilograms of flour. So we need to add 
six kilograms of flour. They must be making a lot of pancakes. Any questions so far? These two had something in common. They, they, we ended up setting them up pretty similarly. Okay. Now our, our last one is different because it doesn't tell us, um, well, let's just set up a, a bit differently. Uh, okay. So a scientist needs 120 ounces of the solution that is 52% acid. However, she only ha she has two solutions that she has to mix together. So imagine she has two bottles. One is 60% a pr a acid and whatever, 40% water. And the other one is 36% acid and whatever else water. And she has to put a little bit of each in, in uh, her vial so that eventually she has 120 ounces. That's a total of 52% acid. How much of each should, she, should be mixed together to obtain her 20, 120 ounce solution of 52% acid? So this time we're going to set it up a bit differently. Okay, uh, we're going to let x equal the ounces of 60% solution. So she has to she has to add some ounces from the 60% bottle and some ounces from the 36% bottle, but she can only have a total of 120 ounces. So if she adds X ounces from that bottle, from the 60% bottle, how many ounces will we have left over to add from the 36% bottle? Yes? 120 minus X. Good. 120 minus X will be the ounces of the 36% solution that she will add. Now we're going we're gonna to use our arrow method here. So we're going to need to multiply by the percents. Because now I, I want you to know to Think about the percent of acid, okay, or amount of acid. So if in the X of the 60% solution, it's 60% acid. So how much acid is in there? Uh, yes, Jack? 0.6 x. 0.6 times x. And then on the other, the 36% solution, it will be 0 0.36 times 120 minus x. We multiply whatever is here times uh, its corresponding percentage. So here is our amount of acid. We want it to be 52% of the total. So we're going to add these two together, 0.6x plus 0.36 times 120 minus x. And what do we want it to be? How much percent acid? Uh, yes, Sam. We want it to be 52% of our total mix, which has to be 120. So we have total acid had to be 0.52 of our total solution. This one was different because they told us that we had to end up with 120 ounces, whereas in the previous ones it uh, didn't give us that limit. All right, now we just need to solve. Distribute your 0.36. I'll be nice and I'll tell you it's 43.2. <laughs> and 0.52 times 120. I'll give it to you. It's 62.4, but I will expect you guys to be able to do a little side math like that on uh, tests and quizzes. All right, on this side, we need to combine like terms. We can think of that as 0.60x minus 0.36 to get our uh, 0.24x. Now subtract the 43.2. And what do we get? What, what did you get? I don't have 21. I, I got 19. Yeah, those problems are worth doing uh, doing some side math for. All right, so I guess this would be a, gr a handy problem to use a calculator for, but we don't need to use a calculator. 
we could write this as what? 24 over 100 X. Uh, what would this be? Uh, 19, oh, well, if we have it. Yeah, that will work. No, not over 1,000, over 10. If we if we we only have one decimal place, so if we wanted to divide this by ten, that would, that it would, it would be like that. All right, now we can multiply by hundred over twenty-four. Actually, it might be. Eh, let's go ahead and keep it like this. That goes away. That's one zero. Man, now we got nineteen twenty over twenty-four. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> well, we can keep going. Let's see. Divide this in half. What is this? That's 12. Divide this in half and we get what? Let's see. 1800 over 2 would be 900 uh, plus 120 over 2 is 960. Look at us go. All right. Now keep, keep dividing it in half. That's 6. Did I mess up? 860? Well, let's do it this way. 2 goes in 9 times, that's 18. 2 goes in, yes, I was right. <laughs> okay, now, uh, where am I at? 960 over 2. Uh, oh, gosh. I swear. 2 goes into 9, 4, we get 8. What is it? 48? Yay, we got it. It's, what is it? 8, but really it's 80. So, x equals 80 ounces. Uh, because this was really 480 there. Oh, okay. Yes. But you can divide, can't you divide the Can I, oh, I, I should have been able to divide the nine, 960 by 12, because 96 divided by 12 is 8 out of 0, but apparently I needed to divide it in 2 instead. Um, you can, but we don't need to. I, I knew what that it was. Okay, uh, all right, so we have 80 ounces of 60% solution. So 120 minus 80 gives us the 40 ounces of the other one. So we need to answer in a sentence. Uh, scientist, she needs to add 80 ounces of 60% and 40 ounces of 36%. Alright? Good.